just that we're going to do as a team to start with. And we're going to do just a couple. So we're going to go, how about tons to pounds? And then we're going to do one that has a fraction. And we'll do one that has a decimal. And then let's do one of our conversions. Let's do this one. All right, so we're going to do these four problems as well as nineteen. And then I'm going to ask you to complete the other ones as well as the homework on your own. Okay, so when I'm doing conversions, what is the first thing I do to help me out? Anchor chart. Big to small. Small to big. I need more units of the smaller ones so my number gets bigger. I need fewer units of the big ones so my number gets smaller. Then I write my formulas. How many ounces are in a pound? How many pounds are in a ton? All right, now I'm ready to go. Here we go. Ton to pounds. Big to small. Which means I multiply. I need seven groups of 2,000. All right, use your zeros trick. Seven times two is 14. Add your zeros. 14,000 pounds. All right, 1.5. I'm going tons to pounds. Big to small which means I multiply. I'm going tons, so I need to find my tons and pounds, which means thought you bet you thought you'd gotten rid of your decimal multiplication, right? Not yet. All right, so 5 times 0, 0, 5 times 0, 0, 5 times 0, 0, 5 times 2 is 10. Second place value, add a placeholder. 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 2 is 2. Now we're going to add 3, 0, 0, 0, 0. 30,000 pounds. That's not right. Oh, I see what I did wrong. Who caught my mistake? Let's write three zero 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 zero. What I forget? The decimal. I have one decimal hiding in my factors. So I'm going to go behind my number and add my decimal in, which means it is three thousand pounds. All right, one and one fourth pound ounces. So before I start, I need to convert this to a decimal. So you know how to do this. Four times what? So I have what dot denominators can give me a decimal? Tenths, hundredths, thousandths. All right, so think about all your factors that you know. Four times what gives me 10? Nothing. Four times what gives me 100? 25. If you do it to the bottom, you got to do it to the top. 1 times 25 is 25. So how do I write 25 hundredths as a decimal? All right, so now I have my number 1.25. I'm going pounds to ounces. So think a can of soup 
versus a piece of bread, big to small, which means I'm going to multiply. And my formula says 16 ounces, so I need 1.25 groups of 16. Six times five is 30, carry your three. Six times two is 12, plus three. 15, carry your one. Six times one is six, plus one is seven. Next place value, add a placeholder. One times five is five, one times two is two, one times one is one. Add zero, 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 two. Then you're gonna go to your factors. How many decimals are in your factors? Two. You're gonna find your decimal. It's always hiding behind the number. How many times are we gonna froggy jump? Two. And add your decimal. All right, number 15. 16 pounds and 11 ounces. And I need to convert this to all ounces. So I'm going pounds to ounces, which is big to small, which means what? Multiply. All right, 16 times six is 96. So six pounds, equals 96 ounces. But what do I need to do next? Yeah, I didn't have just 16 pounds. I had 16 pounds plus 11 ounces, or six pounds plus 11 ounces. Six and one is seven, nine and one is 10. So a total of 107 ounces. 107 compared to 117, less than. Flip your paper over. Use number cents. A puppy weighs 12 ounces. How much? 12 ounces. What fractional part of a pound is this? So how many ounces are in a pound? 16 ounces equals one pound. But I don't have 16 ounces. I only have 12 out of the 16 that I need for a pound. How do I write 12 of 16? 12 out of 16. Uh-oh, we need to reduce. Find your magic numbers. Oh, they're both even. Oh. Oh, they're both even. Three is prime, so I know that I can stop. All right, it was what part of a pound? Three-fourths of a pound. All right, so at this point, I'd like you to stop the video if you haven't already practiced these and go ahead and try, um, check the ones that I'm gonna go over. If you've already done these, you can just go ahead and keep moving forward. So we're gonna do just two because I feel like you guys are getting the hang of this. We're going to start with number four, and we're going to start with, oh, let's do three. Number 10, and we're going to do number 12. So if you haven't already done four, 10, and 12, press stop and complete these. If you have, just keep moving on with me and check your work as you go. Here we go. Ounces, two pounds. Small too big, which means we divide. 
we're looking at ounces and pounds, which means we need to figure out how many groups of 16 I can make out of 96. So I'm gonna just do my math over here, 16, 32, 48, 60, 76, 90, I think I'm added something wrong, 6, 40, 41, 50, 8, oh, this is it, 48, 58, 9, 6 is 1, 2, 6, 3, 64, 74, 80, 96. Remember, you can use a calculator for these. That's not cheating. Um, definitely, I want you focused on the steps and not worried about the multiplication and the division. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six groups, and I had no remainder. So I have six pounds. Question number 10, we're going to go pounds to tons. Small to big, which means I divide. All right. So I look at my formula and it says two thousands, two thousand for every pound. All right, so I know that I have three groups, because three times two is six, plus three zeros, and I have 1,000 pounds left over. Well, if I have 1,000 out of 2,000, remember we take our remainder and put it over our divisor, what fraction do I have? Well, I can divide by 10, I can divide by 10, I can divide by 10, and I'm left with three and a half, or 3.5 tons. Number 12, pounds to tons, small to big. Now remember on these conversion ones, you can pick which way you go. If I go small to big, I have to divide, and I'm not very good at dividing, but I can convert this one or this one. So I'm gonna convert four tons to some number of pounds, because I'd rather multiply. Four groups of 2,000 equals 8,000 pounds. So this equals 8, thousand pounds. Now I'm just going to focus on my pounds because I can compare apples to apples. It's no longer apples to oranges. And 7,500 is less than 8,000. All right, this is the remainder of this lesson. Be sure to go ahead and finish 7, um, 8, 11, 13, 14, and then the questions on this page, as well as the questions on your homework. Don't forget, you're going to start by writing your anchor chart, and you're going to start by writing your formulas. And I'm going to go ahead and just let you do that. You can copy from the other page, but that should be your modus operandi or your steps every single time you come to these. All right, that concludes our lesson for um, today.